I actually shoot a movie on a phone? Let's find out. All that you are seeing right now is actually shot on an iPhone. Look at the beautiful scenery and let all that sink in. I'm just showing you other ways that you can make use of your phone because each of us these days might actually have an Android or an iPhone in their pockets. Yet, most of us who still have great stories to tell, we still make excuses that, oh, I don't have the best camera, I don't have the best equipment. But this film you are seeing right now is a clear example of what you can achieve with just your mobile phone. At the end of the day, the best camera in the world will not make you the best cinematographer or the best filmmaker. It's all about learning to use the scarce resources that you have, making the best out of them, putting them in the field and creating or telling that great story that you've always wanted to tell. That notwithstanding, if you look closely at the behind scene of this particular movie, you'd realize that it's actually a big budget film. The big budget didn't actually go to the camera department, they actually spent all the money in getting all the actors and locations and getting everything ready for the shoot. So the money for the movie was actually invested wisely. They didn't spend all that money getting the most expensive camera. They rather chose to spend that money on other parts of production. And that is a huge lesson that I feel like most of us beginner filmmakers out there can actually learn from this particular scenario. But hey, let's not get too excited because using a tool like that, it also comes with its own challenges. But that is the beauty of filmmaking. It's about solving those challenges. Hence, I'm not saying mobile phone is perfect. It has its own quirks. It has its own pitfalls. But it's only a great filmmaker who can take the pitfalls of a particular device and turn that into rather advantages for him. So it has to make sense in the context of your story. For example, there's a story I've written that I'll be shooting very soon and the story actually takes place in a well. And even my Panasonic G7 camera is not small enough to really get into such spaces. And of course, I don't even talk about our Blackmagic Osamini Pro or even the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. None of those cameras would make it down there because the space is really tight and yet i want that kind of intimate kind of feeling going on so that the camera would really be very close to the action and so the only way to do that is to shoot with a mobile phone camera so do you see the reasoning behind choosing that particular camera so in this case i'm selecting or i'm choosing to use a mobile phone camera because of how small it is and the fact that i can place the camera at very unusual places that a normal cinema camera or a normal camera would not be able to enter by this i actually have a good reason why i'm using the phone and at the same time i'm turning its weakness the fact that it's just a small camera i'm using that disadvantage as an advantage in my particular scenario i don't want to go into details as to why the mobile phone is sensor and all that might be a disadvantage to quote unquote a professional filmmaker but there is certainly a place for it so just learn to use the mobile phone to your advantage for a similar reason that i have already given here are some key things to take into consideration pay close attention to your audio make sure to use an external audio source to record your audio instead of relying on the audio coming on directly from the phone so by this a quick cheat is that if you don't even have a professional microphone what i used to do is that if this phone is actually filming i'll use another phone put it on a mic and get that closer to the subject that alone can actually go a long way in improving your sound the other thing you should spend more time tightening up is your story guys story is king and this particular adage will never die in filmmaking. Spend more time on your lightning. This point cannot be overemphasized. As you can see in all of these shots, they look so professional because they spent more time lightening the scenes and putting lots of fog or lots of haze in the atmosphere. And that is why this looks so professional and looks so neat. So it's not just about the camera, but how you choose to capture the light. So if your intention was to spend all your money on getting the latest camera, I entreat you to get a very moderate camera and spend most of the money on lightning and sound because trust me, those are the quickest way you can up the quality of your production. And now when you are done with all this, make sure to edit to your story. Now I know we all are YouTube people, we like to watch YouTube videos, we like to read editing books but at the end of the day, what matters is that whatever editing technique or even right from the shooting, whatever technique you choose should actually make sense in the context of your story. And I take that again in the context of your story. At the end of the day, we may all have our opinions and everything, but the story is yours. It's your story. It's not my story. You are trying to tell the story. 
and editing offers you another opportunity of reshaping the story and how it's going to be told in the head of your viewer. So, choose your editing technique wisely and even if it doesn't make sense in the grand scheme of things, make sure that it makes sense in the context of your film. And on first glance, let the cuts be able to immerse your audience or let it feel very catchy that your audience are going to feel very immersed in the whole production. And I hope this inspires you to go out there with your phone and actually shoot something. And when you create something, please make sure to tag me on Instagram or probably you can share them via email. Let me have a look at the awesome stuff that you guys are stepping out there to create with your phones. Like I said, there are always limitations, just like every gadget. So just look at the limitations and make very good use of them or turn them into advantages. If you are seeing my face for the very first time, this is the African Amaze channel. Over here, we do talk about cinematography, photography, editing, and all its related branches. If all this sounds interesting, then I'll do much appreciate it if you do click on the subscribe button. Please do make sure to turn on the post notification bell so you are notified anytime I drop awesome content like this right here from Africa. And if you did get a ton of information out of this video, then I do much appreciate it if you click the like button because that goes a long way in helping other people discover this channel right here on YouTube. I might come your way as usual with a practical tutorial where I'll take out a mobile phone and actually shoot a short film for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and like always, keep practicing filmmaking. Peace out.